Hi guys, welcome back to the Homespun Hive. I'm Shelby and this is Cora. <laughs> Today we are outside over by the chicken coop. I'm going to be giving you a chicken coop tour and I'm also going to talk a little bit about how we built our chicken coop, some of the materials that we used, and then we can go ahead and um, check out our chickens and I'm going to talk about what kind of breeds we have. So come on. Okay, so right behind me you can see we have the chicken coop part of our coop and our run. It's actually just um, a shed that was turned into a chicken coop. It's uh, eight by nine. And then the door that you see has been turned into like a double dutch type of door where you can um, close, open and close the bottom and top separately. And then when that top part is open, you also have the option to pull down a screen part and hook it. Um, it's really nice because we live in a warmer climate. We are in Southern California and it's hot. So to be completely honest, I keep it open just like that 24-7. We don't have a lot of pr uh, predator pressure here. So for some of you, that may seem really crazy that I would leave it open like that, but I do. Like I said, the screen is closed on the top and the door latches on the bottom. That's just how it is. And then on the windows as well, we have a window on each side of the shed. Um, those are backed with, um, I think it's called hardware cloth. I feel like that's going to be wrong. Anyways, there's something on the inside of there so that um, if anything ever tried to come in through the windows, that that would not be possible. And this shed is actually something that we got from my dad. My stepmom had chickens for a while and this was their setup. And they stopped having chickens, but they kept the shed and my dad ended up using it to store some tools. So when you see the inside, we still have like a bench set up where he would have used to put his tools. We haven't taken it down yet. Um, it's just something we haven't gotten around to. It doesn't really bother me, so that's just how the inside is. Now the inside is not super fancy, but we can go take a look at that. Now before we take a look at the coop on the inside, I want to show you what it looked like before we even had the chicken coop or the run in this area. As you can see, it was a lot of work for my husband and my dad and my father-in-law to get that shed off the trailer and position just right so we could have our chicken coop and really fulfill my dreams of having a backyard flock of chickens. They worked really hard to make that happen. And as you'll see in the rest of this video, we had more family help with building the run completely from the ground up and they did such an awesome job. So one of the first things that we did after we cleaned our coop was to go ahead and paint the flooring with um, a type of paint that was going to seal it in. Because we were going to use the deep litter method, I wanted to be sure that we weren't going to be ending up with uh, rotting wood on the flooring. Okay, so like I said, it's not super fancy in here at all. It covers the basics. We have our nesting boxes down below. There's that bench I mentioned earlier that the birds do like to walk around on, and then we have some... Um, spare pieces of wood from the property that we use as perches. We see little Rhoda laying an egg in there, and that's about it. Like I said, nothing fancy, but it covers all of their basic needs. Another important factor to mention is ventilation. We do have a whirly bird on the top of the coop, as well as those little vents right there that you see above both windows. All right, well, now that you've seen what the inside of the coop looks like, let's go head over to the run. Actually, I'm going to hang out outside and kind of talk to you guys about some of the things that we have. What? <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, um, I'm going to hang out on the outside and just kind of go over some things about um, how we built the chicken run. Um, really this was Brian's thing. He's he's a contractor and he's used to doing like home remodels and additions and stuff like that. So when you look at the structure of our run, you're probably going to be like, whoa, that's a little crazy. Because he, he really built it as if he was like um, building out like a wall or something like that. So it's really sturdy. Uh, it's not going to bow or come out in like other weird directions or anything like that. So I will walk you guys through how we did that and what we did. So along the edge, right under the roofing, you'll see that black border, that's drip edge that Brian painted black. I think it goes great with our door hardware. And for roofing, we chose to use metal roofing, which again, I really like the way it looks and it'll last a long time. Okay. 
Okay, so all throughout this we have used um, two by four pieces of wood and then every so often throughout the spacing, Brian also added, he pounded a metal stake through the base so it's going to be very sturdy. Again, like I said, it's not gonna bow out or get all funky. And then these trim pieces that you see right here, these are actually just um, siding trim pieces that you'd use on a house. Uh, we just use them as um, the accent piece for our chicken run. And then the fencing that we used on here is a uh, horse, horse like horse fencing that you would use. Again, this is a lot of stuff we just had on hand um, from family members' yards or our yards or things like that. So that's why we use um, the horse fencing. The door is very wide. Um, our purpose behind that was that we wanted to be able we wanted to be able to fit a wheelbarrow through the door without any issues. So it's almost four feet wide. It's a really wide door, but it's so nice to have something big enough that you can get, you don't have to squeeze in there when you're holding a, a trash can or a big uh, bag of feed or anything like that. You, that. you have plenty of room to get in and out. And then Brian found these, um, all the hardware for our chicken coop he found on Amazon. I will link that below because this is, I really like this hardware. I think like it makes it, it matches with the um, drip edge on the top, the black drip edge that he painted and then the black hair hardware. I just really like it. All right, so now we are in the chicken coop and the first thing that I wanted to talk about is what we have down on the ground for our chicken run. Oh, okay, so we're in the chicken run. We're not in the chicken coop, my bad. So what I have down on the floor in the chicken run is actually uh, shredded wood from uh, a eucalyptus tree out front as well as any scrap wood that Brian can bring home from jobs. He shreds with our shredder and then that's what we use to um, have on the ground in our chicken run. Oh my gosh, yes I hear you. Okay. So it's really low maintenance. We do like a deep litter method, a deep bedding method, and um, I have really bought like a few bags of shavings when we got the birds out here in the coop, but I definitely have not gone through them in the last six months because we just keep shredding wood and adding it um, back here. If you want to check out my video about uh, how to keep chickens healthy, I kind of go a little more into detail about how we keep up our our chicken shavings and stuff like that, like what we do to keep them hygienic and fresh and clean like that. All right, continuing with our little tour, here's this little back area behind the chicken coop where our run extends into. It's about a four by 10 space. And because the coop is up on cement blocks, that creates this little space underneath the coop that the chickens like to hang out in when it's really hot out here. They just crawl right under there and cool off. And right over here we have our PVC pipe automatic feeder. It's literally just a piece of three inch PVC pipe strapped to the chicken coop with a metal strap and on the bottom there is a, a litter pan for a ferret. And the food just kind of trickles down as they eat it. And then next to it we have this tractor supply compartment with their grit and um, eggshell for them. This feeder is super easy to use. I probably feed our 12 chickens maybe once every four days and I just keep our feed in this metal trash can in that little back area and dump the food in and let them go at it. We're using an automatic waterer that's used for cattle. Um, I like it because it's automatic, but it's a pain to clean and the chickens always dust bathe right in front of it. I cleaned this yesterday and this is how dirty it looks. It's gross.
Okay, so that about sums it up what's, for what's going on with our chicken coop and our chicken run, how we built it, uh, things, you know, the materials that we use. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to our chickens and what kind of breeds they are. So let's do that. You can hold her. Can you tell me about her? Um, her name's Harriet. Harriet. Do you know what she is? She's a silver lace wine dog. She's a silver lace wine dog. Who's that? Hey, Mama. Rhoda. And who is she? Rhoda is a Rhode Island Red. She is a Rhode Island Red. And she is our sweetest chicken. Huh? She's the sweetest chicken that lays eggs. That lays eggs, yeah. She's our first layer. Is he, is he wine dog? No, that's... Well, what's her name? Fanny. That's Fanny. Dark Brahma. She's a dark Brahma. And she's so sweet too. Yeah. And this is Frenchie. She's a salmon favorole, and I'm sure you have heard her this entire video because she is so loud all the time and she hates to be handled. And this is Lucy, one of our four Easter eggers. Here we have an Australorp, we just call her the Australorp. And Marigold, the Black Copper Moran. And Archimedes, the Easter Egger. Bluey, the Blue and Illusion. And right in front of Bluey, we have Luna, the Black and White Easter Egger. She's very shy and also hates to be handled. Queenie, our New Hampshire Red, just hanging out laying an egg. Okay guys, well thanks for hanging out with me while I talk about our chicken coop and our chicken run and our chickens. I Don't forget to hit subscribe and see what we've got coming next. You can visit me at my website, thehomespunhive.com, or you can visit me at my Instagram. It's thehomespunhive underscore, and there I post a lot more stuff of our day-to-day, uh, -day, what we're doing and where we're going, what we're doing in the garden and stuff like that. So I hope to see you there.